Hey YouTube, I'm Brick Smith, and welcome to Lego's Ultimate Builds, the Saturn V. As always, is my friend here. There it is, Strawbricks. 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 And down here, moderating a chat for us uh, in Technicolor. I give you Titanium J. Hello, Did everybody. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you, brother. Good to have. Um, how y'all doing? Um, doing well. Good. Doing good. Nice, nice shirt you got on. Thank you. I tried. Uh, mm -hmm. See, I match both of them, mm -hmm. and they both match each other mm -hmm. and match me. Mm -hmm. uh, Keith and and TJ have sweatshirts on. What's up, Shane? Uh, Hello, Shane. Me and uh, Keith have Rick Fair shirts. Yeah. And me and TJ, color match. Yeah. It's yeah. like we planned it. Ooh. So we're here. I, I got the Brick Fair shirt, but the sweatshirt is because it's 34 degrees out. And it's a little chilly. A little chilly. Yeah. Chilly. Not here. Uh, we got down into, the, I think, the 40s yes, this morning when I was on my way to work. Mm -hmm. It didn't last. It was no. like 75 or 80 when I left work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen here. We hit the 40s, and then we stay at 50 like that. Yeah. So we're uh, we're moving on at a good clip. Mm -hmm. uh, we're about to start bag six. Yeah, Keith and I are not trying to keep up with each other. It just seems to be happening, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So. I mean, I think that should be our goal, that we end at least on the same bag each. Uh, it would be cool. I'm, can you? Yeah. Yes, I need it. Yeah, I definitely need a sty now. <laughs> <laughs> Drink my beer out of there. Um we got three viewers, Shay McQueen in the chat. TJ yeah. is going to do all the talking about the chat. TJ, if you need to interrupt us, uh, Keith likes to get long-winded. Never. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, what, I guess. Uh, Keith, you, you want to say anything? Nope. We got this. Yeah. Uh, there, we are, we were talking mine about. is a 21309. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Williams is the newer one, the nine two one seven six. Yeah. Ooh. Look yeah. at mine's a multilingual, and yours yeah. says just English building instructions. But I will say that it is in all three languages inside. Ah. ah. Okay. Uh, there was also what did, what did I was it this one or the other one? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm friends with this guy on Facebook, and it wasn't on purpose. The guy in the middle right there. That's his okay. Facebook. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. And I don't I guess he's the designer. I haven't read it yet, but whatever. So very, very nice. Here, here. Very nice. We might we might go a little extra tonight. Um yeah. uh, I will say that the doctor changed my medicine and it is definitely I'm feeling the effects of it. Meaning it's helping or it's putting you to sleep? The side effects um are bad oh. right now oh. they'll fade i promise okay yeah shane right. says that two by four technic plate made all the difference yeah, yeah. i did <laughs> just be yeah. glad we get the chance we to haven't even got there yet, though. that's not loud no what? i said we haven't got there yet <laughs> where that two by six technic yeah. makes a difference oh boy Bag six. So I went through my uh, my set here, which had been built before and then broken apart. And hey, wh what are you doing? How do you got that already there? What? How do you get those pieces already there? Because that's what the first step is for me. Oh boy, someone is rushing, rushing ahead. Let's see. Rushing. All right. I got, yeah, I went through and um, separated out the rest of the bags. So I now can easily, you know, jump to the next bag. Of course, I still had some extra pieces that I didn't pull correctly. So who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go. Rip roaring and ready to go. Not as ready as I think I am. No. <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're all set. We talked hello, about Eminem bricks. Hey, we talked about this before. Uh, I am. I'm a slow builder, but I'm also a devourer of sets. Mm. If I get it, I got to go until it's built. Yeah. What's up, Eminem? See, and I'll, I'll usually uh, 
Unless it's a very small build, I'll use do it for over days or something. What did you say there, Keith? I said usually, unless it's a very small build, like a brick pad or something, I'll usually do it over days. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Got to have it done right now. No. What's hard is that? You got to savor it. It's like, you know, you get a steak. You don't sit there and go. You got to. You know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> All right. That's what I do, at least. You know. <laughs> savor, <laughs> savor the meal. Oh, so we're doing that times. Oh, we are doing that times four. Okay. Of course. Of course we are. Uh, Always times four. Even though it's a circle, you're doing it times four. That's all right. So, hey, I'm just. Uh, hey, I'm glad you guys. I'm uh, glad everybody came out to uh, watch. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on notifications and all those things that, oh, you can also join and be a member, a paying member of the PBN, which is not uh, all it's packed up to be yet. But one day, one day, that $2 will go far. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it, um, sadly, I'm not as good as I should be with that yet. But one of the heavy duty benefactors of the Julian Smith uh, broke ass fund is talking about uh, getting uh, brick badges printed to Ooh. make level three. So, <laughs> so that's, that's potentially in the future. Nice. Um, but he's kind of busy building a house right now. Whoops. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> Why that loud? Yep. Okay. Goodness. See, I've always I've always seen these in train sets for like uh, you know electric train power cable thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, the top of the uh, train. Yeah. What, what's what number? Where are you at? What? I'm at one twenty three. See so you you passed me. Now I'm on one twenty three. Uh -oh. You're worried about me getting a jump, and you're already ahead. Look, listen to this, TJ. You see this crap? <laughs> see what I put up with? No, it's uh, times four. Remember, remember, I already built this before. Yeah. Oh well, you already know, but you you savored it. You didn't go fast. That's right. Um, also, as it stands right now, members that spend that whopping two dollars, they yeah. uh, they get emotes. Uh, emojis, which is a thing that they do on Twitch a lot. Oh, by the way, Jason Muse, somebody gave me um, a, subs uh, a subscription to Jason Muse. They gifted me a subscription, so I get all his emotes now. That was mostly just for TJ, but everybody else can nice. listen. <laughs> TJ's like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Time's four. <laughs> yeah, don't forget times four. Times four. Hey, it's got five engines, but you're gonna do it times four. <laughs> I got, I got five engines. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So, which way? Okay, they can put those on. We're gonna go inward to inward and beyond. Yeah. Just be careful on step uh, one twenty four. Oh yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, you know how this is an octagon, but you have the straight, you know, the four side stud thing. You got to put it on the corner, not one of the uh, sides of the studs. Is that correct? Uh, no, no. It's supposed to go. Uh, into got it now. So this is how it's supposed to go. Yep, I'm an idiot. Oh no, the stick came out. That's okay. It'll go back in. Hmm. Tell you what, I don't know why y'all put up with me. <laughs> we try. Yeah, I know. That that Lego behind me that Jamie got was so heavy oh, that yeah. it, it made the car ride up like that. Really? Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. And you can you can take it to the bank. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh Brick Jams um got a haul that he didn't actually physically pick up. I did because it was in Tallahassee. So I say dibs whenever that happens. 
and uh, I get to look at the stuff that he got before he does. And I thought, well, I could just call him market share with everybody. So there's a stream from earlier today on my channel mm -hmm. uh, about me uh, picking up Brick Jams' stuffs. Oh, that's times five. How is that times five? Because this is now the actual engine part. So does it just is it got a is it got a home for it or just it sits off to this one of the sides? Uh, yeah. This is where I lose. This is where I lose track. I'm not sure what you meant. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm worried about the fifth one in the middle. Ah, uh, it'll be okay. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to attach it. Just really, whoop, won't you do it? Not today, Satan. Sorry. Hey, TJ is here for you guys. Put him to work. Yeah. <laughs> it's got Dude Jude. He's been greeting people in the chat. That seems like something. Hey, like Dude Jude. Sad we're not going to be able to see each other at Alabama. Well... Alabama. Well. <laughs> yeah, I know that other thing, but I can't make it to that. I know. Well. <laughs> yeah. I go to Alabama because uh, when you work the Hello, Bama game, Bricks. Nice to see you here. Hey, Bama. Mm -hmm. So, okay. TJ, you built this set? No, nah, I haven't. No? Is it on your Christmas list? No, I already got a lot of stuff on my Christmas list. Uh, I tried to, to tone it back this year, actually, just because uh, in recent years I've been asking for a lot of stuff. Uh, Is there a specific place the center one needs to be, Keith? Uh, no, I don't think it really matters. They show it off to – it doesn't matter really what okay. side – was off to but um but these at least kind of connect Do you have an orientation those uh the outside ones they have an orientation so that it looks like you know those those uh what do you call it the electrical connectors for the train connect to these speakers okay phones you know okay not really, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so it gives the illusion of you know it's connecting to the right. the megaphone. So let's let's do their orientation and then all right. Nope. Nope. I did it. Did I do it? I did it wrong. Sorry about being so quiet, everybody. This yeah, thing, I have to concentrate on this step. This thing's got me messed up. You got to concentrate on this step. Yeah. Okay. Woo, we're getting there. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> this is up. Uh, <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay, I think I almost figured it out. Yeah, and then those go. Oop, all fell off. Cool. I don't know how frustrated I'm supposed to be right now, but I'm pretty frustrated. No. Yeah, I can't get this thing to do right. All right, there. Is this the proper? Uh, show it to me this way. No, this way. Yeah. Uh, can you throw yourself on the big screen? Sure. <sighs> okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Yep. You're good. You're good. You sure? Yep. Doesn't feel right. Okay. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> I mean, if you want to throw me on the big screen, I'll throw mine up so you can see. Turn it on its side and let me see one of them. Do they? Do they? Uh, okay. So they're all on the far side. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's basically made so that it connects. It looks like it connects to those uh, train power things. I got you. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> and then the final one just gets pushed into itself, so it looks like it's connected to itself. I got you. Yeah. See what you started, TJ? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm giving him a hard time. <laughs> Okay. So for those of you in the chat, what are, what is everyone working on tonight? You guys building something or are you just hanging out like I am? Oh, great question. Look at TJ. Good job. Good job. And what are we building next time? Huh? What are we building next time? Who are we? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. It's over there across the room. It's hiding. Yeah. I'll go get it. Eventually, we'll be building the hmm? Milano. Huh? I said eventually we'll be building not the Milano. I keep calling it the damn Milano. It's not the Milano. It's not the Milano. No. It is the... Let me see here. What's it called? I'm not helping. I know you're not. The Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. There you go. Eventually, we'll be doing that one. Mm -hmm. when, when, when someone can join us on that one. Yeah. We'll start that one. But if you don't have it already, you can buy it on Amazon. It's 30% off on Amazon right now. Wow, that's good. That's a good deal. And you could join us on the stream, build alongside us. Excellent. Yeah. It's kind of too late to build the, I hear you. the uh, what can I call it? This set now that we're almost, well, probably will be what? One, six. We'll probably get through six, seven, eight, hopefully tonight. Maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm failing this miserably over here. No. Uh, so, dude, Jude just says he's been hanging out so far. Yeah. And then Shane okay. McQueen says nothing tonight, but have been slowly working on my mock highway construction scene. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Nice. Oh, here's here's a here's a, here's an update, folks. Still, uh -oh. still waiting on my check from YouTube. Uh oh. Yeah. No, so I can donate to uh, Susan G. Coleman. Yeah. Got got to wait for that to get the get it on out the door. What is and we have a Kevin sighting. Mister Hinkle draws in the chat. Hey. You read it's that, Keith? Roberts. Uh huh. Uh, bricks. No, it, uh, this morning, uh, yeah. as as our as our short sort went live. Yeah. The banter watcher. Yes. Uh, decided that uh, the closed caption were on. How's that, boy? Oh. <laughs> and said, oh, I said, hi, I'm Brooke Smith, and this is Strawberts. <laughs> well, that is now who we are. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, oh, uh, artificial intelligence is not 100% there yet. <laughs> okay. So that's why I worry about like that autonomous driving and stuff like that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I got my cousin all the way from Massachusetts watching. Hey, cuz. Yeah. Tom and his, I, I think his wife is watching too, Kathy. Yeah. So they're not building. They're just watching. Didn't I meet them? Yes, you did. You met them in um, Philly. Yep. I think I think you were the first people that I introduced them to. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Right. Really yeah, we got there really early. Yeah, we got that really early. I was in the back door. Right? I was like, "Oh my God, you got to meet Bricksmith." So he's a total loser. You'll love him. Who? Bricksmith. No. No. I don't think you had even brought your stuff in yet. <laughs> no. I think you, I think we were starting to set up. We got there basically right when it opened. Nice. 
Yeah. Which then gives you prime, you know, prime real estate. Barrels. Nice. Jason hates them in this color. He's like, why are they on rockets? Because they did it on the Batman, the Lego Batman spaceship too. What? And Brick Blaze is like, barrels are dumb. Oh, the barrels? Yeah. He didn't, he didn't like, he did not like them on there. He no. Ended. Oh. Yeah, I guess to each their own. Yeah. <laughs> I remember watching um, Clutch when he was going through the uh, the Para, what is it? Barracuda Bay. This thing over here, yeah. item here, um, and he was he was not very pleased that Lego had reintroduced the the black barrels, uh, and um, yeah, because he goes those are going for a pretty clip on. Um, oh yeah, Nick, before they came back out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, ah, damn it. Well, now, like I always was like, and 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 just like Clutch said. Um, Look at look what Lego is doing. Yeah, uh, they're going to screw up the profit margin on Bricklink. Uh -huh. here, here's the catch about that now, boys. What? They own Bricklink. They're I going know. to be doing it on purpose and double dipping. No, I don't think so. You don't think Lego's watching Bricklink and seeing the expensive parts and reissuing them so they can uh, drop the price there, and that way uh, bricks and pieces will be higher. Um. No, because I don't think there's that many people that order uh, from the Bricks and Pieces um, versus the Bricklink. Okay. Um, uh, Shane wants to know, are the barrels in this set specifically black? They, no, they're actually the metallic, yeah. right? Are, these like no, metallic? Are, they, are those like the, the gunmetal gray? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, the gunmetal gray. Look at TJ. Did you pull the set up? No. No. That's what I thought you did. You was quick, though. That's quick. I like that. Yeah, you're gunmetal gray. Yeah. So all those go on the bottom now? Shall we build? What, what are you building? What part are you on? I'm on uh, 125. Okay, the engines. We have Scott H510 in the chat. Hey, he says, hello, Lego lovers. That's hello. Great. Welcome, sir. No, I think I think um, Lego is watching it more so for uh, potential sets to reissue. Oh, that would be my guess. Kevin, opinion? <laughs> that would be my speculation. <laughs> No, we're gonna do a hinge on it. Yeah. Well, they just keep getting taller and taller, everybody. <laughs> what have we got to do that times four? Times four, everybody. Yeah. Kevin says, wait, did Lego buy Bricklink? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kevin. I forgot you don't know anything about Lego. <laughs> He's an artist, everybody. Go support his Patreon. And if you can't support his Patreon, show up for his live streams where he draws. It's it's enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. It's still Fridays, right? Yes, sir. Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Woo -woo. Yeah, I haven't been able to join one in a long time. I got meetings now on Fridays that I didn't have. Um, yeah, I've got classes on Fridays. I got one at 9 and one at 11. Ugh. Yeah, well, no. you're both excused for next week, okay? Yeah. No, no, no. For many weeks. Because the meeting used to be Friday at like 4 o'clock. And I was like, come on. Yes, why would you do uh, that? Friday's at 4 o'clock. Yeah. Strawbricks. Uh, Kevin wants to know if you got your Patreon goodies in the mail. Yes, I did. And I am the worst person to make a damn video. <laughs> it used to be good until he took over. Now he doesn't make them no more. <laughs> Yes, I got them. Thank you very much. But I got to, sadly, I have to clean up my computer so I can actually even import the video. You, Joe, you Kevin's did make a video. 
Kevin says in regards to the doodle streams, just watch the time lapses on Monday. Three hours condensed into five minutes. Ah! Okay, so let me let me go ahead and tell y'all this. Yeah. Kevin's working for gold just like most people are. Uh, and the more uh, uh, opportunity he has, such as myself, uh, I am able to monetize my videos. Once you hit a thousand subscribers and two uh, four hundred four thousand minute hours watched, you can monetize your videos. So go ahead and turn on while you guys are at class or at school. Turn on Kevin and let it run in the background. Mm. Give him that watch time that he does desperately needs to get to his goals where he can feed his kids. Uh, and then watch the other one for fun. Okay. That's how you, Kevin, we're going we're gonna to learn you yet, sir. <laughs> and Kevin says, he's, um, it's all good, Keith. I'm more interested in the package landing versus any social sharing, but good to know. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Here we go. I don't know what you guys can or cannot see. It's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, it says my children do enjoy eating. <laughs> it's yeah. food. Food is good. Just give them a multivitamin each day. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> but, yeah. Grilled cheese sandwich and a multivitamin. And if they and do a bowl of cereal. Scott says, food is fun. I, I can't disagree there. Food is very fun. Food, food is I, I can eat, right? I, tag, I could eat. That's yes, right. sir. I'm nodding my head in agreement because food is a... Uh, uh, when it wasn't baseball cards and it wasn't Lego and it wasn't girls, it was always food and television. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made the simplest meal and really, really good. Um so what both, step are you on, Keith? I'm sorry, I got to interrupt you. What step yeah. are you on? I just finished up step 128. So 126, are they all on the white clips? Uh, the white clips? Yeah. Uh, yes, those those are all on the white clips, and then the next step is all on the black clips. I can dig it. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry for interrupt. You are saying something about then, food? Yeah. So I just, Kevin it. says... Here's your daily Flintstones gummy vitamin and all the water you can drink. Yeah. Do they still make gummy vitamins? Do they? Yep. And say, we it's, have, it's a different generation, sir. Uh, they they we couldn't have the animated madness. Huh? huh? Hello, the animated madness. What's up, the animated guys? madness? Hmm. Uh, I got to, uh, Keith, I got to answer a question for animated madness that uh, he. We did on the uh, PlayStation, but because I don't really know how to work my PlayStation, I don't know how to answer it oh. uh, on there. So I'll do it in public here. Yeah. I love GTA 5. I bought the PlayStation five, uh, 4 just so I could play with uh, Brick Blaze. And that's why we and we have a we have a weekly episodic show called uh, Shooty Time. We even have merchandise, T-shirts and stuff over here. Uh uh, yeah, yeah. That's, um, go it's ahead. Sunday nights at ten Eastern. Is it ten Eastern? Yeah, it's ten yeah. Eastern. It's after it's after the PBN. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then Kevin says yes, but my kids don't eat those. And yeah. Scott says I remember when they were not gummy. Me too. And the Brickhead family's in the house. Says what? Hey. Up? Hello, the Brickhead oh, family. Boy. How's it going, Nick? These are the vitamins that I take. Oh. Two a day. Oh, nice. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to take more. I don't remember the last time I took a vitamin. Maybe I should. Yeah, shooty time. It's good to see you, Nick. Uh, how's it going? Uh, oh, Nick, uh, there's somebody that did a flyover on Dozier School for Boys. Uh, and um, it's a creepy video, so I'll just I'll eventually get it to you. I'm very slow on the on the uptake anymore. The Animated Madness says, just stop by to say hi. Glad to have you. Thank you for coming, Hello. Animated Madness. Hey, Julian, you're on top of the rocket. Sir? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I don't think that's cool. That's what that's cool, man. <laughs> Do you guys see a one by 2 gray brick? <laughs> or plate? No. Whatever the hell it is. I don't even know what they're called anymore. 
Light bluish gray tiles, yeah. There it is, hiding up underneath the white one. They're in there, I promise. There we go. They're in there. They better be in there because yours is new. Sir? I said they better be in there because yours is new. Oh yeah. I could see I could see them missing from mine, but you know. Yeah. I did find a couple of things like that when I was pulling the bags this afternoon. So what is, what I'm referencing over there, I don't know if everybody knows what I'm referencing with Nick. Uh, Nick is um, goes freaking talking, and him and his son and his lady do a podcast where they talk about the occult uh, hauntings and the occult and things of that nature. And he told me to email him with my storyline because I worked at a I worked at a, a juvenile prison for five years where. Uh, it turns out staff were killing inmates 75 years ago, 80 years ago. Wow. And their bodies were not claimed by their families, so they're buried on campus and haunting the place. Oh, boy. I don't Spooky. care. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is absolutely. Do you push those down? Oh, oh, you push. Oh, you push them down. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. Kevin says, Jigo, Jigo Puff opts out of the podcast often. He's just crew. Oh, oh. well. Well, Nick, Nick is the is is the beauty of the bunch. So, uh, 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 what was that? <laughs> I was not prepared for that. That made me happy. Yeah. <laughs> and then Nick says, Kevin knows what's up. LOL. <laughs> <sighs> tedious. No. I understand there are only times four. Yeah. But it's a bit. Uh, the 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 techniques are fun, but they are tedious. Uh, I I times ink four is. Yeah. Needless needless to and say, you will never ever be building the Coliseum. I didn't say that. <laughs> Kevin says you should listen to the last episode when he was on his phone the whole time texting. Oh, Ooh. Jiggle Puff. No, nice. nice. Teenagers. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, that one is going to be probably the most repetitive. I yeah. know, but for that one, because of its size, I kind of just want to do it to say yeah. I've done it. But the bigger problem I have. Is yeah. that harkens back to my old days, and I kind of want to do it multicolor. Oh, boys, could you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> could you even <laughs> fathom that? And then Nick says, "I almost threw it out the door." <laughs> you should have. <laughs> that Gen, that Gen Zs, they don't, they don't understand. Not all of them understand. They don't get Teenagers. it. Teenagers, <sighs> young adults. Oh boy, yeah, young adults. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Can't kill them. Young adults. Can't kill them. <laughs> See you, <ya>, young adult. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. And then, yeah, Kevin says Nick almost went Super Saiyan on the show. It was tense. And then Seth Bland is here. He says, "Hey, crew." Hey, Seth. Hey, what's little. going on, man? That is that is my boy up there. Uh, the way of the Dixie Lug up in that area. Yeah. Right. He's, we going out and ate with him. And hung out at ABC with him. Good times. All right, you got to be gentle with step step number one thirty three. Okay, I'm on that run right now. Yeah. We do not need it crashing and burning. No. So it's got six points of connection. Wish me luck. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> you know what I think of when I see this down here, this black and white connection right here? What? The, um, Two-Face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 Uh, that broke off. That wasn't even the thing I was doing. <laughs> that tightening. <laughs> <laughs> One of those arms fell off. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> 
It may just have to be off, Keith. I don't know if I can get back on there. <laughs> Not in one piece. Well, peace. Uh, <laughs> that fell okay, off. So oh. Nick says, I don't have the kids Sunday for our three-hour live stream, so it will be Nessie and I with Good Morning Lego. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Give me a time. Yeah. Give me a time. Does Keith have a t or not Keith? Does uh, Nick have a time? That fell off. Now that fell off. This now fell off. Man, Julian. No, I didn't do anything. It just fell off. You broke it. You broke it. Uh, broke it. Guess yeah. what? I found one of the parts I was missing last episode. Nick says 7 a.m. Central. Sunday morning? Yeah. 7 a.m. Bless you. Right? Yeah, that's that's 8 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. Okay. Still, still early. Still real early, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out about what happened the night before, usually, and I'm, I'm not even rowdy. <laughs> yeah, I'll be eating my cereal while watching it. There you go. Yeah. You go. Now, if it was 7 o'clock at night, I'd be eating ice cream cake. I don't blame you, sir. Right? Sounds like the right thing to do. Because, you know, Carvel or whatever Baskin Robbins is not selling them for actual birthdays, so... Might as well, might as well uh, celebrate yourself. Always. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had my last ice cream sandwich earlier today. <gasps> oh no! It's been forever since I've had an ice cream sandwich. You mean like the, the? Uh, I almost call them like. I know they're supposed to be cookie, but they taste like cardboard. Yeah. The black wafer kind of thing with the ice cream in between. Yeah. yeah. Those kind of ice cream sandwiches? Yeah. Burkhead family says someone took our usual Saturday afternoon spot on the 72 hour stream. Oh, that's And right. then we have Moto. Hello, Moto. Hello. Moto. Says, what an unexpected stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but um, I won't be having ice cream for a while because at my house, ice cream has a bad habit of disappearing. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not the one who makes it disappear. The dog eats yours too? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's why you got to get, um, what should I call it? You got to. Uh, Moto says, get that Apollo on. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. <laughs> what are you saying? Mini fridges for your own room. There you yeah. go. Your college student. Right. That's what needs to be on the Christmas list. All right, just get the strawberry. Do you have one in your Blueberry room? Ice cream? No, Do I don't. In your room, no. no. Uh, real close to probably needing one here pretty soon in the in the Lego room. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Because like, I'd be like, oh, I need another soda, and then I have to go all the way to the kitchen, which oh, is around the corner. Yeah. And uh, you know, it'd be cool to have one in here. Yeah. Seth Bland is willing to bet that Moto is wearing another cool shirt today. Oh, every day, man. Every yeah. day. <laughs> On to number seven. Woo. Is that far ahead of me? No. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if I wasn't already out of space in my room, I'd probably get a mini fridge. Yeah. I thought you have your own room now. Are you talking well, about I have my own house? I have my own room here, but yeah. at my house. Yeah, oh. I still have my own room, but it's yeah. Packed to the brim with Lego. Yeah. Move out. Move out. Move out. <laughs> oh, boy. Parents are overrated. Get out. <laughs> and Moto says, it's a tie-dye from the company where I work. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. So, there you go. 40 minutes in. Down to bag seven. Yeah. That's bag nine. That's bag 12. Uh oh. <laughs> 11. Bag number seven. I don't know how far we're going to get it. Am I being too loud? There's a lot of pieces in here. Yeah, there is. And then 
Seth Bland thinks Moto's tie dye shirt is cool. He says his wife, two girls, and his and he himself loves tie dye. Nice. I like tie dye too. It's cool. What's on here? It's empty. I can use it. Mm-hmm. Yep, one of those days. Oh, here's my phone. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? You can put this thing away now because uh, you oh, know, yeah? you're not building off of this right now. 52 degrees right now. Yeah. It'll be 72 tomorrow. Oh, boy. Yeah, we won't be 72 here. Uh, it's another... 46 here. It's pretty nice. 46? Oh. Yeah. It's pretty warm for this area. Uh, I just put those in the wrong spot. Moto says that the tie-dye shirt says peace, love, security. Cool. We have five likes on the stream. We have 11 oh, we people watching. Likes. We have 11 people watching. People oh. like the stream. You guys know how math works? TJ, look for that. TJ. Okay. So these are bucket lids. I recommend that if you can get by your hands on some bucket lids, use bucket lids. Uh, yeah. He also has a good. Don't look at my shorts. Stop looking at my uh, downstairs. Hood oh, baby. Kevin says that he pulled out his first space heater today. Ooh. Oh. Careful, those are dangerous. Space. These are these are special, customized, highly sought after sorting trays. They're approximately three inches deep and probably about a foot round. And look at that. You can see all the way, everything underneath it. Um, they are lids of uh, cheesecakes. <laughs> yes. Juju says it's 45 degrees where he is. They are the best things to sort with and build with. Totally. And Moto says there are some really great trays sold by Ikea. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. those, orange, those, orange bu- those orange buckets I have running around are from a key at Kia. Mm. Yeah, I'm not against them. I just, uh, you know, these are dollar store ones come four or five in a pack, and then these come with cheesecake. And Bama says, Don't plan on turning out turning the heat on until it gets to 60 degrees in the house. Oh. And Kevin right says, I saw Christmas trees going up in some of my neighbor's houses. Don't these folks know it's still March? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> when do you put your Christmas tree up, Uh The wife's family, whenever we have Thanksgiving here, they do it on yeah. Thanksgiving. Ah. Um, after that, we don't have a traditional time to do it. Uh, it usually is after Thanksgiving and before Christmas. Uh, and then sometime in January, I get pissed off and I rip it down. Uh, yeah, that's literally how it works. Nice. Bama says, I have two Christmas trees up and decorated. Nice. And Kevin says, we always do it the weekend after Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, I'll probably get my Christmas tree up because we get an actual live tree. Usually we go to a tree farm, but we're probably just going to stick local this year. Yeah. We'll probably get that within the first couple of weekends. Did I miss I missed a bag somewhere? Couldn't tell you. Oh, I was looking at light gray. It's dark gray. The part is light gray. I feel better about things now. Kind of. <laughs> Still not sold. Yeah. I haven't put a tree up in years what yeah because i go away for uh oh okay christmas and uh i it's just me here at the house so i gotcha yeah i don't go through the whole i, I build uh my uh christmas village though okay yeah it's just here, a little christmas tree at home i've got um i've got a, like a mini christmas tree that i put up every year i think keith yeah. needs one of those and no. i've got like a few Christmas builds. My mom and I kind of started that last year. Nice. We had some Christmas builds when we got the gingerbread house. Yeah. Awesome. I don't know if the instructions are still up on um, Christmas Bay site. 
he has a whole section of Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna gonna probably say that they're not up there anymore because of the fact that he works for Lego. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I mean, Kevin I, says, but I still swear this year stopped in March. I never left March mentally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Well, can you, can you research that. See if Chris McVeigh's website is still up for the the ornaments. Okay. Can look so that here, up. What do I search up for that? Story. Yeah, um, you probably just got to do Chris McVeigh. M C V E I G H. Power pig. M C V. V E I G H. Oh yeah. Yeah. Kevin says it is still there. All right. Yeah, I'm looking at. It. He's got a nice, right? A nice array of Christmas ornaments. These look good. Right. What do you expect out of a anything less from a Lego designer. He's got plate craft, traditional, and whimsical. Yeah. And then Moto, if Moto's still in the chat, he could throw down that hashtag. Uh, so people can make build make an ornament and then Lego use that hashtag and then Lego will give the kids give the kids uh, a set. Yeah. Uh, Kevin says amazingly that would be that would absolutely be a conflict of interest according to the rules. But hey, what do I know? Right. What do you know about Lego? You're an artist. <laughs> and we've got Cy O'Connor in the chat. He says hi, guys. What's hey, up, Cy? Cy? Nice to see you here. Cy, it's very late where you are. Or is it very early? You could also interpret it that way too. I think I think I will. <laughs> Size one of them. I've been trying. I've been it just like ships in the night. Accidentally, I've been wanting it to be in the live stream, but I can't seem to. I can't seem to put my finger on him when it's when it's a good time. Yeah. Well, he's um he's over in Ireland. So mm -hmm. He's five hours ahead of you. Yeah. All right, Julian. When you get to steps 144 and 145, yeah, build that cross thing off and then put it together on. Okay. So much. Size says it's 146 a.m. Ooh. Ooh. Kevin wants to know when you be having when you having that kid, Julian. Well, I am having it in the royal sense of we, uh, <laughs> as myself and the wife. Uh, in March, March 17th is the due date. And, uh, if, if history repeats itself, that baby will be coming a week early, whether we want to ready for it or not. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then if, if that does happen, then it will be, um, that baby will be born probably on her brother's birthday or on my birthday. So, yes, Seth says I should be a narrator for audiobooks. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what the hell? And we got Brick Studio in the house. Hey, Brick Studio. Oh, Brick Studio. Hey, hey, hey. March 7th would be cool. I, I would be okay. Yeah, that's right. Rob is March 7th. Uh, Chris Giddens is the 8th. Alex and Kelly are the 9th. Oh, uh, Kelly and Bubba fame. Oh. Did a live stream just end? Because our, our viewership just bumped up. <laughs> hey, Brick Studio. So you're saying build the whole thing off. off yeah. Put it's, it on. it's so much easier to, to uh, I can dig uh, it. what you call it, attach the center, you know, of those two uh, pieces. Right. Try to attach them once they're on the, the cylinders. So you're so, saying the instructions are not the best. Well, so Br Brick Studio wants to know how I'm doing, how school is, and how many more days until I get out. I go home tomorrow morning, actually. I do have some online classes on Friday. Then I've got a week off for Thanksgiving, and then I have some online stuff in December. Nice. So Connor says, I can't wait to join sometime. Absolutely, brother. Yeah. And then Kevin says, here, TJ, read this. Audible hopes you've enjoyed this program. Copyright 2020, all rights reserved. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Good work, sir. 
Uh, TJ will take requests. Uh, he will say things that you, so you can hear him in his speaker voice. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> I don't know. Scott, I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you for showing up. It's awesome. Uh, we'll appreciate the love and support. And um, Brick Studio says, it's glad that I get to be home tomorrow and home for the holidays. I I agree with that. Home for my birthday, too. That's going to be great. Whatever. I'm working and, Christmas and Thanksgiving, so whatever. And then Seth Blinn says, see, I'm totally right. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And if anyone does want to join us. Yeah. Tell them how to join us there, Keith. Uh, we will be building, after this one, uh, the – I got to go get the name again. Here. I'll go get it. I got it. The Avengers Ultimate Avengers. Quinjet. Ultimate Quinjet. Okay, it's on sale at Amazon right now. Thirty yeah. percent off. That's a good deal. It's that a good Quinjet. Yes. And then Brick Studio says I have to work Black Friday. Yeah. Seth says y'all are awesome. Thank you very much. Seven six one two six eight hundred and thirty eight pieces. Wow. It's got like eighty five minifigs. <laughs> what was that last part? Hmm? What did you say after the minifigs? Six. Oh, six minifigs. And this really bull crap. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> Not it's a, a side build. Yeah. What's that? Uh, then, that little three wheeled. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. And then um, like Street League. Bama says, Julian, I will keep you in mind while I am off. Awesome. Free Studio says, I'm hoping I work 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah. And then he'll find out his schedule tomorrow. Yeah. Well, listen, Bama, when you're off, just come on down and visit. Uh, have some, you can eat some pie with us, man. Something. Oh, I got another line to read. Uh-oh. Pink Bucket Nation is brought to you by members like you. There you go. <laughs> I'm assuming that was supposed to be brought, Mono, instead of bright. Both. <laughs> You know me, without community support, Bricksmith would be dead. We thank you for your support. Yes, yeah, sir. We know you have other choices. So thank you for watching. Do they? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and everybody's gone. Yeah. No. You know the, like that announcement they make when you land? <laughs> you think you're flying in the and we know there are other choices. Well, no, because... And so Connor says... Good night, panel. All right. Good, Good night, 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 Good night, sir. Do you want me to do 48 and 49 together, too? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Anytime we do those, I, well, I don't think there's any panels after this, um, but anytime you're doing that cross. Ever? So the panels that you got to build it off. It makes it so. All right. I got a couple more lines. Oh. And the Susan B. Coleman Foundation. Yes. Oh, yeah. The PBS. All parts considered. Uh, All no, parts no, considered. Uh, hang on a second. I got to tell the wife something. Bama says that he's off between the 19th and the 4th and might come down to visit. Okay. Well, you should just oh. Make me kick Griffin at first. Oh, hell, Griffin. All right. Whoa. Nice. Brittany says that's a great idea. Come on down. Come on down. You know that you got the prices right back on TV. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know it was off. Well, they had been showing reruns um, oh. because of COVID. But now they have it back on TV with uh, socially distanced, no audience. and um, So where are the people at? They're in a back room kind of thing. Is there only six of them? Uh, no, there's, I guess the, the way they described it is like there's a waiting room back there. And everyone is mic'd up and everyone is, um, you know, wearing their masks and stuff. And only if your name called, do you go out like these doors and, and go out into the studio. That's almost sad. Yeah. Don't yeah. Know. I that. At least they got the show running. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. But it's Bob Barker's right. fault. No, it's not. 
He had all those pets spayed or neutered. Don't you know that's where COVID came from? All those pets being spayed or neutered? No, it came from bats. I know. Okay, I got another quote to read. Oh. On the second day of this membership drive, each Super Chat will receive a, whoa! <laughs> that's, that's not how he does it. <laughs> yeah, that's not how he does it. Woo! There you go. That's probably yeah. the loudest I've ever spoken on a stream. <laughs> And then Kevin says, don't worry, folks. It's all getting better. Oh, wait. <laughs> Listen. I just, I just don't want it to keep going. I want it to be over. Uh, well, and I, have, I have personally done my personal due diligence and wearing my mask when I'm supposed to. I have been tested freaking two or three times. Because of where I work, and I'm still mother essential, and I don't want to be. I want to be home. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the best things about going home is that I will no longer have to wear a mask when I go to the bathroom. You know what? <laughs> yeah, that is wow. That's yeah. That's that's the most frustrating. That's one of the most frustrating parts about it. I can imagine just something simple like that. And we got Moto with a five dollar donation. What? Oh! What? Says woo. I'm not gonna try woo! and shout it again. It hasn't showed up on my screen yet. As soon as it does, I'll pop it up there. And then and Kevin then, says then, we had to test Austin last week. He's negative and just had a cold, but that was a heartbreaking experience. Yeah, I can only yeah. imagine. I I don't want to. There you go. I don't want Alex to have to have gone through that. Ugh. Mm -hmm. I had to um, I had to get a test today just because I'm going home. Yeah, make sure I'm, I don't test positive. Yeah. So are they not going to let you go home if you test positive? What are they going to do to no, you? No, I'm going home anyway. Well, yeah, but so what was the point of the test? To find out if I test positive. I mean, it's free, so. But okay, so it was optional. You didn't just. Yeah, I didn't. Have All right, to. Shane. Thanks for coming, buddy. Yeah. See you, Shane. Okay. And Seth says I wore a gas mask to the bathroom at home. Well, you know, I can, I can, I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> oh goodness! All, All right. right, Julian, when you get to step number one fifty-five, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, I can't wait to have my mind blown. Spoilers, everybody. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah. It's gonna blow my mind. It's gonna blow. My mind. It's gonna. But that was one of those steps where I was like, I never, ever, ever would have thought of doing that. Uh, I'm going to get there and I'll be like, yeah, I do that all the time. What are you talking about? Yeah. All the time. <laughs> all the time. I'm going to leave it up there till it falls off. Of course, here's, you know, here's a fun fact you may or may not know. The, the, the Super Chats sit up there. And it, it lets you know that they're there. And then the juice runs out of them. And then they disappear. Oh. And the more you spend, yeah. the longer they're up on the thing. Ah. Uh -oh. Kevin said a lot of words. Yeah, Kevin said, obviously the test itself was painful and uncomfortable for him. And we had to hold him down as he screamed. But also walking a kid up to an outdoor tent with people it's in full hazmat suits is, yeah. So they're um they're not we doing have... we're getting tested appropriately and properly through the proper chains and stuff but you just go to cvs and the same lady that gives you medicine gives you your kit and then you open it in your car you rub it up your nose and you stick it back in the bag yeah what up doc yeah doc says like something out of a movie kevin and then he gives us a woo it's like et and then Moto says, those $100 <laughs> Super Chats never cleared. They just pinned there for nearly forever. Yeah. yeah. You said 154 is going to blow my mind? Yes. Boom. <laughs> Done. <laughs> no. That it, that, Wait, that's 154 for you? Yeah. No, 155. Not the, yeah, 155. Yeah. 154. Boom. Blew my mind. <laughs> And then, yeah, Seth says he worries about his kids every day. 
That's heartbreaking. Yeah. 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 I, when I took my test today, it made my eyes water. It's oh, not yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, you went too far up your nose if it, if it made your eyes water. Yeah. They. There was a the first time I took. I've I've taken the test twice now. The first time was just the random testing. And it was not as bad that first time. No, yeah. And uh, somehow I knew though when I when I got to the door, and I and I knocked, and the person came to me, and I'm like, "This test is going to be worse than the first one." <laughs> somehow I just knew. Uh, but it was over in like half a minute. So yeah, yeah. So uh, fun fun fact, fun tip. I don't know how anybody else does it. When I get little pieces like this and have to put them together, yeah, like this, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they got that guy sitting on there, and he's sitting on two studs. And it's all wheelie nilly. I lay it on its side and flatten them out. Yeah, yeah. That way I know that they're got got. Yeah. yeah. Kevin yeah. says that they had to have an ice cream run and hugs for an hour. He's fine now, but we are more scarred now. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, how how are the parents through that? Because that's and then. They, yeah. Moto says your mind makes it real. Yeah. 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 But the, uh, I, anytime Alex truly is like legitimately hurt, I'm not talking about falling, scrape his knee, but like when he put his, um, oops, when he put his tooth through his lip oh. and had to have stitches. I, yeah. I just about lost my mind. I was sick to my stomach over it. Yeah. And then Doc that. asked, did Mo Probably asking Kevin, did mom and dad get tested too to lessen the blow? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Wasn't wasn't Kevin sick earlier in the year, like uh, in January or something? Yeah, right, right before COVID hit. Well, here's the thing: they were saying that COVID was here before, you know, it really started making the news, and people were really getting. Uh, well, I can tell you that I've known Kevin for a couple, three years, yeah. and he was sicker than I had ever seen. Uh, it was bad. You know what, Kevin? You need to get tested because I found out that if even if you if you did have it, they can test to see if you still if you had it. Yeah, you need the antibody test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Kevin says my wife had to test as well, but was separate. Austin was at the children's hospital, but I haven't had to test nor my older son. Yeah. yeah. I bet Kevin yeah. had it. And I'm not trying to be like, ooh, Kevin's got cooties. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it needs the antibody test to see if he had it. Yeah. The regular test will only say if he's positive now. It won't say whether he actually had it before. That is that is definitely this is definitely a move I have never used. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. What? Right? That's that's I'm not sold that I love the connection, but I definitely love the ingenuity of it all. Yeah. 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 Kevin says, yeah, that was super bad. Back in February, right around Valentine's Day. Yes. Full week basically been ridden. Super. Yeah. It, like I said, it was Did you lose your uh, sense of taste and smell? And then Doc says LOL, but he does have cooties. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm also a fan of the anti-stud uh, technique right there. Where? Which see, one? The, see the white stud in the four grays? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the center. I yeah. swear by that. I love that. I love that technique. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, we, we could definitely put that on a stud, but we're not going to put it on a stud. Right. We're going to make it fit between the studs. Yeah. And then... Kevin says, this is true, Doc. <laughs> and then Moto says, it must be a Moto move. I imagine Smith said that about my connections. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't, I would never, did I say something bad about Moto? No. Oh. About like the uh, the connections in 155. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a, uh, yes. Moto, yeah, Moto yeah, that's and then Kevin says, he doesn't think that he, uh, lost any senses. He just didn't have a big appetite. Yeah, and he was like whooped. Like I ain't never seen anybody. 
I've slept oh, like man. what I saw, but I ain't never seen anybody but Kevin. Kevin, you're the only one that's ever had this ever. <laughs> what the freak? That is, I like that. I like it. 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 I did it. something wrong. I know. I didn't want to tell you. Yeah. I didn't see it. What number are you on? We you have, have um, one. I'm on Scott's one. Blocks yeah, is in the chat. It says, it's hello, Scott fellow a -folds. Hello. Hey. What, Keith, what'd you say? Which what step did you screw uh, up? 163. 163? Yeah. You got to slow down, buddy. But I screwed up, so now I'm, I'm really stuck on 163. So we're at an hour and five minutes. Are we going to go ahead and hit up the next bag, Keith, or not? Well, I say once we finish this bag. I'll be done with this bag? Yeah. Sounds like a winner. I just wanted to make sure, buddy. Yeah. What bag number is this? Seven? Yeah, it's seven. <laughs> it's so slow. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kevin says, hey, in happier news, I'm down to 195 pounds and had to buy new shirts. Nice. That is good, man. Uh, Scott's I... Box wants to know, what are we building? I am building nothing. I'm going to get that out of the way right now. Um, but Bricksmith and Strawbricks are each building the Saturn V. Strawbrick is building the older one, and Bricksmith is building the re-released one. Which allegedly only has one part difference. Yeah, so basically the same thing. Essentially. According to our authoritative source. Yeah. Same hey, thing with Bricks different art. set numbers and one different piece. A.K.A. Bricks Art. Brick. Zar. Letting it all hang out. Jabo. Jabo. Hey. AKA and Scott's blocks says he has the original. That's a good one. People are welcoming welcoming him to the chat, and also congratulating Kevin on his on his weight loss. Yeah, I don't remember one ninety five. Okay, as an adult, bed. as an adult, the lowest I have ever been after getting to uh, a, a very large weight uh, was. 225 and I was 21 or 22 at the time. And what seventh grade was the last time I was under 200. I know, shock. Yeah. Three, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm 350 now. All that belly. <laughs> It's not a belly, it's reserves. Huh? I said it's not a belly, it's reserves. <laughs> TJ, TJ, you are, let me I'm see. like, I'm yeah. up 25 soaking wet. Uh, Probably. No, I'm, um, last I checked, I was around like 115, 120. And uh, I'm sure I've gained a few pounds. You should. The COVID? I'm sure I have. Yeah, through COVID and just. I'm just being in my room all the time. I've been taking the stairs less and less. Good. Yeah. It's Seven flights of stairs. I don't want to take that yeah. a lot. So, I mean, I'm going to find out when I get home tomorrow. But I'm digging it. And then Moto says, it goes well. I got a new water heater today so I can put my studio back together with the washer and dryer. I did all see right. that. I did see that. I, I thought I liked it. Maybe I didn't. Folks, you got to keep up with everybody on Facebook, Instagram. Um, the the your your friend today can be your Lego Master Champion tomorrow. I'll just say it like that. You insert the name here. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And then Moto says freshman fifteen, yes. and for me, it's more sophomore five probably. But you know, it's the same. Aren't you like thirty now? No, I'm kidding. I don't think I'm thirty. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be 20 soon though. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. I know. Um, honestly, I thought you were already older than that. I know. I know. A little I under two better. weeks, or a little over two weeks. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's not right. Kevin says your family will let you know. TJ, my mother has already stated your skin and bones. You're starving. 
Yep. Scott's but, blog says, I'm one of the four millennials that don't have a Facebook. <laughs> so here's what I, I here's what I told my uh, Gen Z daughter, uh, Scott. Get one for the grandparents. They want to see you face. They want to know you did good on that test. They want to know you got engaged. <laughs> Make them happy. Make them happy. Yeah. And Doc good. says I do need to eat more. Yeah, I mean, is I eat as much as I I feel like eating. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna have a microwave lasagna later tonight. Oh, that's a great I need idea. To, I, go I need to get it out of my freezer because I need to. I need to leave those off, and so I gotta let them dry out overnight. Wait, so you do you do have a fridge thing there then, or? Yeah, I have a I have a little fridge and freezer uh, here. Okay, you, you said dry out. Here. It's thaw out, brother. Yeah, well, I didn't yeah. want to make sure you're not you're not misspeaking yeah. about food. You let your clothes dry out, you let your food thaw out. No. No, I just got to unplug the fridge and let it just air out overnight and then wipe out the water that melts or the ice that melts into water. You read that for me, TJ? <laughs> Brick Smith be dropping hints where he should be concentrating on the task at hand. Apply for Lego Master Season 2. Interview. Be great. We'll support you. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> and Kevin says, don't misspeak about food. Yeah. <laughs> What did Kevin say? Don't misspeak about food. No, no, no. You'll draw back I mean, a tub. <laughs> this, this is more about the fridge, but yeah. No, it's always about the food, brother. Sorry. We're going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> and then Seth says, microwave lasagna at college? You're living it up. All I had in college was Debbie cakes. Yeah. Hey, I, I bought it like weeks ago just in case I needed it. Who's Debbie? <laughs> yeah. How did you get Who's her Debbie? cakes? <laughs> <laughs> That's my girlfriend. Yeah. No, but I bought it weeks ago and I need to get it out. Yeah. I tell you what, this do, this doohickey on top right here makes me happy. Yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'm loving it. Yeah. And then Doc says, Julian, be like, hashtag I could eat in every post, no matter what it's about. Amen. <laughs> Because that's yeah. that's listen. It's more about the fact that I I've decided to take that hashtag for the Lego community more than I could eat. Uh, yeah, but I do like to eat for sure. No, but I've got I've got unlimited meals in the dining hall, nice. which it's not technically unlimited. It's technically nine hundred and ninety nine, but no one ever works through all of them. Wait, nine hundred ninety nine meals? Yeah, per semester. That's oh, the unlimited. How package. many days are a semester? <laughs> Not that many. Oh my yeah. god! I don't know. It's probably like a day would be three hundred and thirty-three days. Yeah, I so, mean, I just get it because I eat in the dining hall all the time. So, can you share that with others, or? I probably can. I think I can get like guest meals. Uh, hey okay. Keith, what number are you on there? Uh, uh one seventy-two. Go back to 168 and tell me where to put those. And then we have... Oh, you know what? They're going on those gold studs. Thank you. Someone new in the chat, Baron Julius Von Brunk. Yes. Uh, TJ, if you're not subscribed to Von Brunk, go ahead and do that now. Julius is one of uh, the greatest, another great master builder. Uh, I right. don't need him to be on a show to know he is. Uh, if you're not follow everybody, subscribe to him. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The guy is amazing. Amaze balls. I see he's got a video from a few weeks ago called Barney Apocalypse. Yes, that sir. I approve. <laughs> yes, he is. I will be watching that later. He is absolutely phenomenal. And also, I don't know if you noticed that, Kevin co-signed. <laughs> <laughs> How often does Kevin do stuff like that? Yeah, there you go. Doc says I should. I better eat all nine hundred and ninety-nine meals. I think you should, dude. That would be like some Guinness World Records or something. You should totally do yeah. that. That'd be like every hour. That's too bad that you can't like donate them to the homeless or something. Oh, that yeah. be... can, can I wish you... I could. I'd share them with someone else if I could, but yeah, they don't really allow that. It's just like a guest meal. Yeah, once I, a week I... you get one guest meal a week. Why don't you go find somebody from the homeless shelter and start taking them to dinner with you? <laughs> I don't want yeah, you. To that's what Mono said. 
What? That's what Moto said. Oh, was it? Yeah. I'm building so, that something reading. along those lines. <laughs> Link in chat, please, for um what is that for Baron Julius von Brunk? Yes. Can you go ahead and hit that up for me, TJ, or no? Do you yeah. No, nah, just a I'll second. Stop. I'll stop what I'm doing to do that if I need to. <laughs> no. What? For nah, I just need to. For Baron, you damn right. That guy's something serious. Just need to get to the channel because I subbed on my tablet, so I got to actually. I understand. Pull it up on my computer. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, appreciate it. Yes. All right, there we go. Yep. I can't. Uh, I, I truly can't speak highly enough about that guy. Yeah, Kevin says, "Yeah, get the mileage from those meals. You'll feel yeah. better about it in 15 years from now when you're still paying off your student loans." Yeah, yeah, I, I probably will. That's a fact. Yeah. Didn't, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, he's right. You should take pictures of every meal and be like, post them on, on social media and be like, yep, cafeteria free, bitches. <laughs> but not but not on but on, not on your Facebook where grandma can see it. <laughs> you never put the inappropriate. I told him a 15 year old, I said, don't put anything inappropriate that you don't want your grandparents to see on Facebook. Yep. Now, I've heard that thing. If you don't want your grandparents to see it, don't post it online. There it is. Yeah. You got Snapchat though, see uh, DJ? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm I'm not very active on it. I just see other people's stories. But I, I post every once in a while. I'll probably post tomorrow as I'm going home. Completely unnecessary connection and I love it. What? I like the black uh, with the orange trans going into the stud in the middle of the thing that you didn't have to really do, but it works. Yeah, right? This is this is the way. <laughs> Seth says, when I was in school, we had the cafeteria, but also at Chick-fil-A. You could use two of your, of your free meals for Chick-fil-A, so I only ate once a day. Yeah, um, we have a Chick-fil-A on campus, which what is lovely. Doing? And in addition to our however amount of meals we also get dining dollars which we can spend at like the places at places near our university or restaurants actually on campus so um once a week i go and get chick-fil-a and i i kind of spend that over time because um for the for the unlimited meal plan if the less um dining hall meals you get the more the more dining dollars you you get to spend at other places, so it, it kind of balances out. And that um, so for the unlimited, you only get two hundred and fifty uh, dining dollars. So I I spend, I just go to Chick Fil A, get that once a week, and then I work it, I work the money down a bit. A uh, hundred of those dollars roll over into another form of currency at our university called quick cash which so, is oh, I like wanted other be, things i wanted to be shroot bucks oh. so bad yeah. you wanted to be what shroot bucks oh but um i usually try and save as much of that as i can for um just for it to roll over because at the end once you graduate you can get the quick cash back that you have left over oh nice so I ate, um, um, what place did we, the chicken joint we were just talking about? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. I ate Chick-fil-A with, uh, Intoc and Keith and Brittany. Yeah. And Alabama. And then, and then we went for ice cream. Oh, I remember that. I was like, I wasn't in the mood for ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin that, says TJ yeah. school is running a pyramid scheme. It all converts over to Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I it's it's 0. 0.00001 Bitcoin. <laughs> You'll see. You guys are rude today. You didn't get in on that. I'll oh, show yeah. you guys. I'm kidding. It's not and then Seth says, and talk is so nice. Yeah. 
She is the best, man. Yes, she is. Oh, you got yeah, they got the meet over there in uh, Atlanta Brick Company. Oh, I can't again. I got I gotta promote Atlanta Brick Company for what they did for me. What they did. Mark, the manager, yep. came in on his off day because he heard we were coming. And by us, I mean down here in the deep south and uh Dixie Lug were gonna show up. Mm -hmm. We showed up. And then he came in on his day off to see us. Aww. Then I didn't realize it was day, his day off, so I asked him about a Lego set. I was like, I really want this one. Do you guys have it? I didn't see it on the shelf. And I know sometimes they got works in progress downstairs. Yeah. And he says, uh, no, we don't have it. But let me get up with you. And uh, let me get up with you in a couple of weeks or whatever, when and see if we can. We've got it. Well, sure as the world, I get a, I get a message from him today, uh, and he says it came in, and I was like, awesome. And then uh, I asked him if he could hold it till payday, and he said that he could. So that was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Seth wants to know. Did you give ABC boxes for in-store credit? I did. I brought them about 30 boxes, and they gave me $8 in credit. <clears throat> Wait, how does that work? Uh, huh? What do you mean you give them boxes? You give them old Lego set boxes, and then they give you uh, store credit. Oh. Uh, nice. I was told, I was, I was told, and I don't even know who told me this. I was told that uh, $8 or a Lego set or a box was one dollar okay and like i said i bought 30 boxes yeah and i got eight bucks uh give or take isn't it depends on the box top huh isn't this thing crazy on top i'm trying to figure it out yeah. myself right it's moto it's says mm -hmm. with a foals the word is our bond this is the way this is the way yeah look at there keith that is crazy on top there that is crazy on top. I like, but my question for you, everyone, is why? 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 Well, when we go on to bag, what is it? What's the next one? Eight. Eight. When we do eight next week. You'll understand why. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, I have another question, and I don't, I don't know if you can, anybody could answer it or not. Uh, this was an idea set, correct or no? Yes. Yes. So. Yes. What did the gentleman do, and what did the uh, Lego designer do? Mm. There's a mm. lot going on here, and oh, I yeah. and listen, I know A falls, and I know how their mind works. So this, I would not put this past an A fall. Yeah, I would think that the the Lego designer would uh, ease it up a bit. So yeah. I'm wondering if maybe the designer was just so impressed with the uh, or the Lego designer was so impressed, so impressed with the ideas creator. I don't know. I don't know. Could have I also just it. done the best way for it to work as well. Yeah. Just couldn't find any alternative way to do it. So. That go in there. I know it was a team of, uh, no, it doesn't do anything yet. You don't do anything with it yet. Pretty sure it goes in there. It will eventually. But I'm going to stick it. I'm going to stick it right here. Be careful because it's not securely attached. Yeah. <laughs> I love He's like, be careful. Be careful. You, make do, you do not want to go through and build this again. Maybe I do. Okay, maybe you do. <laughs> All right. Can you dig it, suckers? Look at that. That's got some beef to it now. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. I'm ready, man. I am ready. Yeah. Let's. That's four. That's that's uh that's our fourth one, and I feel uh, I feel good about this, Keith, TJ, guys. I'm feeling good. Yeah. No, I think this is good. Yeah. Uh, so what did we put in? We did uh, an hour and twenty four minutes today. Yeah, we did. So it. What I'll do is I'll do some research um, on the original designer of this to see kind of if I can find out anything for next episode. And if you want. If you find his email, yeah, we can email him. 
Yeah. See if he wants to come on the show for the final episode Ooh. and we can talk to him, talk to him about it. Yeah. You know, whatever. So, hey, who knows? Who knows? Worst, worst thing he can say is no, and I still love the set. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. You guys ready then? We're ready. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. That's TJ and that's Keith. Uh, that is Brick Smith. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Wednesday. And remember, you got to love that Strawbricks and Titanium J52.